Uh, so I'm Priyesh, I've been a financial planner for over 15 years now. Um, and with Ablestoke, we've helped lots of people buy their first house, uh, protect their family by having the right insurances in place, uh, save and plan and invest for their retirement, um, and everything else in between connected to financial planning. What you have to consider when you're investing is very daunting because there are many different ways in which you can invest your money. And if you've never done it before and you have no experience, the default position most people tend to take is that they're going to speak to friends, family, look at things online. And although there's nothing wrong with that per se, what you have to realize is that every individual has a different situation and a different end goal. So what's right for one person isn't necessarily right for the other person. And what you have to consider when you're investing is first of all, what's the term you're willing to invest for? You have to have a minimum of a five year term before you invest uh, any money. You have to think about what's the level of risk you're comfortable and willing to take. You have to consider whether you're looking for income or growth out of that investment, what the tax implications are going to be, what your capacity for loss is. And it's only after you've taken all of these things into consideration that you can then narrow down on what the right type of investment is for you. And ultimately, the reason most people have to actually invest money is because if you don't invest money, it means you have to work for the rest of your life to pay and maintain a lifestyle. It's only actually by investing money that you can create a pot of capital which provides you with an ongoing income to be able to stop working. And that's why most people tend not to have that choice. It's either invest money and break the cycle or carry on working for the rest of your life.